said, you know, this is affecting your state. You know, by how far you can sit, I don't believe that the National Labor Relations Board is going to remove those jobs. So I think the part of it will work it out once they sit down and take the talk. And so that's that's why I voted that way. My question is unrefined, so, so here's the situation. Um, I know what I see in the news about the jobs, the economy, the paper, radio, etc. I don't have the luxury of living next door to you, which I could. Uh, I don't know if you do or not. <laughs> I don't know if you want to live next door to me or not. I don't have the luxury of living next door to you, and just not every day I get to talk to you, obviously. So here's my question, as unrefined as it is. What kind of back office stuff can you tell us? about jobs in the, in the economy that is coming that we don't hear about in the media? Well, uh, I, I wish that uh, that I had some super insight. Uh, unfortunately, because of the, the era, the information age in which we live, uh, you have access to information about as quickly as I do, except for classified military information. Uh, and basically, what I can tell you, uh, you probably have already heard, is that uh, because of our fiscal situation, uh, and because uh, we're being forced, uh, our Department of Defense is going to be looking at cutting its budget, which means it's going to have a ripple effect with civilian and military personnel, which means that uh, communities like Valdosta and Columbus Albany that have military bases, the military personnel and civilian workers uh, will now be looking at uh, how their workforces are going to be uh, trimmed and what the implications will be for the local economies. And um, some of some communities uh, who were fortunate with RAC 2005 are now beginning to uh, just now on the, at the zenith, really, of the upkeep, uptick in employment. Uh, for example, Columbus, uh, in the Columbus area, uh, because of the rack at Fort Benning and the creation of the Luba Center, uh, is, we were expecting 29,000 new personnel in the area. Uh, now that has been lowered to 22,000, that's still a big key, uptick. So that's caused that area to be very, very, very uh, economically uh, uh, charged. About uh, three and a half billion dollars in military construction alone in three years. Uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, I served on the Permanent Select Committee for Intelligence for six years. And there were items that came before us Classified about which we could not and cannot speak publicly. And so there are some secrets, if you know, uh, but I suggest they are not related to the economy. <laughs> uh, the economy may impact some of that, uh, but the growth in population, the uh, uh, energy crisis in the world, and where the energy resources are located. Politically charged areas, which cause us to have to spend money for, for uh, national security to secure those resources for our needs. I mean, that, that's a, a very uh, interrelated uh, web of, 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 of things that we are involved in in order to keep our country prosperous. Uh, but I wish I had a magic bullet on jobs. One of the is to reduce the regulations, to have some predictability and some, uh, uh, so that companies uh, have some sense of what to expect uh, as they make long-range plans. Uh, what should I expect in terms of my company with regard to taxation? What should I expect with regards to my, uh, what can I do in terms of capital improvements? 
what will I have to do in terms of, of complying with personnel regulations that will cost me per employee, whether it's for health care, uh, whether it's for immigration uh, status, uh, how is that going to affect my bottom line in terms of how I will be able to employ uh, workers in the coming fiscal year or in the three or five year period in my 